All right, guys. Today we're gonna cook some crawfish. Um, to start off with, our ingredients we're gonna use onions, lemons, bell pepper, garlic, um, some Louisiana seasonings, and I have them right here. These are the seasonings you see. It's uh, four pounds of Louisiana boil, three bell peppers, uh, some garlic, some lemons, onions, and new potatoes. So that's going to be the first part of the ingredients. We got some more to come. Get back with you in a minute. All right, this is our crawfish burner and tank. That's the lid over there. This is where we're going to put the crawfish after we clean them. Right now they're over here in this sack. And this is the pot. This is a 120. This pot will do about 100 pounds of crawfish. Uh, we're only doing uh, 35 pounds today. So if it's two sacks, about seven, let's say 70 pounds. It'll do two sacks easily in this pot. So uh, we're getting ready to take these crawfish. We're going to take them and put them in here. We're going to rinse them. And we're going to rinse them until the water is clear. We want to get all the mud and, and whatnot uh, out of the bugs. So we're going to start that in a minute, okay? All right, so you can see the crawfish. It's a nice crawfish that's in here. So uh, we're getting ready to start rinsing these crawfish down. And we're going to do that until... Uh, the crawfish are clean, or so the water is clean in these mud bugs. So we'll be back in a sec. Now that's what the crawfish looks like. Just give you an idea. Um, these are some pretty crawfish. Uh, you hold them like this, they won't bite you or nothing like that. So they don't hurt when they bite. They piss the hell out you though. So anyway, we're going to rinse these crawfish out. We're going to keep doing this until the water is clean. And then we'll start preparing our boil. All right, we finished rinsing the crawfish. We put them into this pan now. This is just to hold them so that way I could use my pot over here to do, of course, the cooking, get the, get the water boiling and all that. So we're just going to take this and we're going to cover these up. Well, these are some pretty crawfish, huh? Woo, dog. I'm going to cover these up like this to kind of calm them down a little bit. that and we're good so now we're good is we're going to fill our pot we're going to fill it about halfway right up in here and then uh after that we'll start adding our seasoning and uh we'll bring it up to a ball so we'll see you soon all right so we filled the pot up you can see about how much water is in it we're getting ready to add our louisiana crawfish mix so this season I'm going to set this in really easy, like so. Now, once we do that, we're going to mix this up pretty good. So, and after that I'm going to start getting all my other seasoning ready. And then we'll get this baby up to a boil. So, hang tight. We'll, we'll be back in a little while, fellas. saying that. There's my lovely assistant. Nothing to say? <laughs> Alright, we got corn, mushrooms, uh, some sausages that we're going to put in a boil bag. And the reason I do that, I like doing a boil bag because um, it makes it easier to find, number one. And I don't like boiling my, my corn as long as the crawfish. So we put the corn in at the end of the boil. It only takes a few minutes for those to come in and uh, we'll even soak for like 15 we'll pull them out. So we're going to put that in the bag and uh, get that going. So here's our bag and uh, we'll start that we'll be back. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to light up the fire. Crawfish fire. Thank you. 
Turn the pot off and we, we finish. So get back with you in a little while. We're gonna bring this to a boil and then we'll put the crawfish in. Okay, right now uh, it's been boiling for a couple of minutes and I just wanted to come and stir it up. But if you can smell that, my goodness, oh that smells so good. We still got about another 10 or 15 minutes to go uh, before I bring it to a nice rolling ball. So I want it to become a, a nice rolling boil. When that happens, then we'll uh, we'll put the crawfish in. So until then, we'll see you in a little while. All right, we got the water to a boil. So now what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and put the live crawfish into the pot. to a boil and then we're going to stop it. After we stop it, we'll put our frozen corn in, which is going to help stop the boil, and then we'll go put a soak. All right guys, we've got the crawfish back to a boil again, and now we're going to shut them down. crawfish soak for a total of 40 minutes from now. So right now our corn goes 15 minutes. I'm going to look at my timer. And then after that, I'll and pull them out. There you go. We're going to rock. And then after that, we're going to uh, pull the crawfish out. So right now, they should be ready at around, uh, around 6.35, something like that. So, All right, we'll get back in a little bit. All right, right now you can see we just turned the crawfish off and they, you'll see them sitting kind of high. They're going to, as they cool down, the crawfish are going to fill up and sink, okay? They're going to sink down into the pot. So we'll get that in the next few minutes. Say hi, Liza. Hi. Good deal. And they got little Lawrence. Turn around, little Lawrence. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. All right. Right now, they've been soaking about 30 minutes. I'm going to pull out the potatoes and the sausages that I had in a second bag. We took the corn out earlier. What's up there, Lauren? You all right? You take these out? So all the potatoes, corn, and whatnot. Sorry, potatoes. Corn's already been taken out. We'll get back. Okay, so we've got the mushrooms and the potatoes that I've taken out. And what's going on is when everybody comes in, they're going to make a tray of crawfish, and they come in and get any condiments that they like. So uh, in a few minutes, when we pull in the crawfish out, we got probably maybe another 10 minutes. So until then... We'll see you soon. Yeah. All right. Crawfish are now ready. 
So LJ is going to pull them out. We're going to set them right down the ground. And we're just going to let them sit for a minute. And uh, it's time to eat. So pretty soon we'll all be uh, making some servings. And we'll come back from there. So got some, some hungry people ready to eat. <laughs> there you go. Show us how you eat that crawfish, baby. She pulled that head off. She's breaking that little piece right there. Mmm, boy. Now, nah, show us how you pull that big thing out of there. Look at that. Pull it out. Finish your tail, pull it out. Look at that. Now, that girl. Oh, now that's a crazy girl right there. Huh? You want some more, baby? Well, if you want some, you can have some. Yeah, if you're hungry. Again. Wait, I can have like you want some more? Three more? Yeah. Okay, hang on. You gotta do that. Oh, I just ripped that head right off of there. Good job. The baby's just being weird in the back while walking behind my chair. <laughs> the baby's walking. Look at Lawrence. Hi, Lawrence. Hi, look at that, huh? We have a crawfish. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, good job. Now, break it off. Show us how you do that. Okay, you, you break it off right that. Oh, look at she twists the head off. And now she peels back. And a couple of little pieces right there. Okay, now you go pinch that tail and pull that meat out of there. So, so pinch the tail, grab the meat, pull it out. Wow, look at that. Man, you just a pro, girl. Good job. Justin, what you think? The best. Good job. All right. Red, you happy? Happy, happy. Happy, happy. All right, folks. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> All right. Now we got the final stage. Everybody got them some crawfish. Happy, happy. Yeah. No complaints? You like them, Liza? That's my little baby. You like that girl? Mm-hmm. Look at that. Perfect weather. How's it going? <laughs> All right. Well, I said, my friends, that's how you make crawfish Louisiana style. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.